The culture of scrambler motorcycles dates back to the middle of the 20th century, when riders had to custom modify their bikes for seamless transition between road and track. Back in the day, the movement had died out due to the introduction of the purpose-built dirt models, and it resurfaced only 50 years later. Technically, though, modern scramblers no longer play the purpose they used to. Instead, it is all about the looks, stripped-down vintage style, and raw retro appeal. In this episode, we'll take a look at the best models of scramblers that are currently on sale, including the latest newcomers, their prices, and detailed specifications. Subscribe to Automotive Territory to get notified about the new episodes, and enjoy the ride! Triumph Scrambler 1200 Claimed to be the most performance advanced Triumph Scrambler models to date, the new 1200 XC and XE were revealed in the final production look in October 2018. In addition to a fresh design and off-road capable body, the bikes come with a new generation powertrain that can be also seen in the brand's Popper and Speedmaster models. Instead of a 900cc engine that powers the street lineup, the motorcycles are equipped with a larger 1200cc liquid-cooled 8-valve parallel twin and a 6-speed gearbox, delivering 81 pound-feet of torque and 88 horsepower. Both motorcycles get a new rear suspension from Erlins, Brembo brake calipers, LED lights, new TFT screen and a 21-inch front wheel. The ABS and traction control are also standard on both, but these features can also be turned off in the off-road-focused XE. Indian FTR 1200 The FTR 1200 is inspired by the flat-track two-wheelers, which used to dominate the dirt circuits and are now becoming extremely popular on the social media. To ensure superior road handling, this Indian scrambler rides on the exclusive Dunlop high-performance street tires and the stomping power is ensured by the Brembo brakes. The all-new motorcycle comes in two modifications, 1200 and 1200S, both brought to life by a liquid gold 1203cc 60-degree V-twin that delivers 120 horses and 85 pound-feet of low-end torque. The major difference between the base and the S modification of the FTR is the addition of a fully adjustable front and rear suspension, a more advanced 4.3 inches right command touchscreen, and installation of an inertial measurement unit that enhances stability and traction control. BMW R90 Scrambler Based on the R90 Roadster model, this motorcycle can be considered its cheaper version and at the same time one of the most expensive and powerful scramblers on the market. This BMW is a legit scrambler, retaining the retro looks and elegance of its older brother, but getting a larger front wheel, a more compact steel tank, and a raised exhaust. To highlight its old schooliness, the R90 Scrambler also receives a leather style seat and an analog display instead of a modern multifunction instrument cluster. The bike is equipped with a 1190cc twin cylinder boxer engine that delivers 110 HP and 86 pound feet of max output and allows it to speed up and beyond 125 miles per hour. Plus, with standard ABS and optional automatic stability control, it offers safe and comfortable riding experience in any conditions. Benelli Leoncino Cleverly named Leoncino or Lion Cub, this motorcycle fits the moniker perfectly. It is quite small, lightweight, and unexpectedly powerful. At its heart is a new 500cc four-stroke liquid cooled two-cylinder engine paired with a six-speed transmission that deliver 48 horsepower and 33 pound-feet of peak torque. The model has retro styling, paying tribute to the legendary Italian motorcycle of the same name that made history for Benelli being produced in 1950s. The Leoncino rides on the new steel trolley frame, which perfectly integrates into the retro design. The line symbol, which dates back 100 years, is displayed on the fender, plus the fuel tank, exhaust and saddle designs give the scrambler balance and modern look. The lighting is now all LED, the ABS system is standard, and the suspension is revised for greater comfort. Ducati Scrambler Icon it has been five years since Ducati started rolling out Scrambler editions of their bikes, and within this period the Scrambler evolved from a model to a separate brand. 
The most successful representative of the lineup is the Icon, which receives a much-needed refresh for the 2019 model here. Among the exterior changes are the aluminum panels on the teardrop fuel tank with a dedicated scrambler moniker, LED DRL headlight, flatter and wider saddle, wider handlebar, and finally, the new color schemes include the Atomic Tangerine and Classic 62 Yellow. From now on, the Icon gets the Bosch 9.1 MP cornering ABS as a standard and it will be working with the 4-piston Brembo brakes. The suspension duties are performed by the Kiaba 41mm fork and adjustable rear shock, and the bike is still brought to life by a 73 horsepower 803cc oil-cooled L-twin. Yamaha SCR 950 Though it is built on the basis of the Yamaha Bolt, the company's entry-level cruiser bike, the SCR 950 is considered a classic scrambler on today's motorcycle market. It boasts all the must-haves for this type of bike, from an upswept exhaust system for improved ground clearance, to vintage design with a small round headlight and spoked wheels wrapped in nubby tires. For added comfort, this Yamaha also gets wide handlebars and a flat dual seat that provides the rider with more freedom of movement. Another unique feature of the two-wheeler is its different size wheels, a 19-inch up front and a 17-inch in the rear. The SCR 950 is brought into motion by a 942cc air-cooled 4-stroke V-twin that delivers very relaxed riding experience and outputs 54 horses and 59 pound-feet of torque. We are trying to dedicate more and more episodes on our channel to the topic of motorcycles. If you enjoy our format, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the suggested videos in the description and formation cards. Let's keep rolling! Kawasaki Z900 RS A tribute to the original Kawasaki Z1, the Z900 RS is one of the most authentic production scramblers out there. It hits the soul of every retro lover with its design, while also tastefully incorporating modern technology. The bike is driven by a classic powertrain configuration consisting of a 950cc inline four-cylinder engine and a six-speed transmission that was tuned to deliver the maximum torque of 72 pound-feet. The Z900 RS chassis, however, features a lot of modern components to offer the best mix of riding comfort and sporty performance. Among them is a lightweight trolley frame and a non-retro inverted telescopic fork with adjustable compression and rebound damping. The bike's instrument panel also blends modern elements and vintage components, with the LCD display nested in the center and two analog dials on its sides. Usqvarna Svart Pillen 401 While on the outside this motorcycle has a completely unique look, it is actually underpinned by the KTM 390 Duke platform, which could be explained by the fact that Usqvarna is a subsidiary of this Austrian bike manufacturer. The name of the motorcycle is translated from Swedish as Black Arrow, hinting at the modern styling, which combines sharp edges with retro elements of a scrambler. Just like its corporate sibling, for a once Ward Pillen gets a 373cc single cylinder with electronic fuel injection and ride by wire. Unlike the city oriented Uskvarna with Pillen 401, this model is leaning towards the dirt, being equipped with wider motocross style bars, a skid plate, exhaust protector, tank crack, and Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR rugged tires. The rest of the goodies include WP suspension, large disc brakes by Bipre Rotors, and EMS from Bosch. Honda CB1100 EX Last updated in 2017, this motorcycle from Honda has since become a hit on the US market. The bike was designed with an idea that classic never goes out of style, featuring the brand's iconic red steel tank, chromed fenders, and a retro-looking round headlight. Just like most of its scrambler competitors, the Honda CB1100 EX offers a comfortable upright seating position and ergonomic handlebars. It also gets a transverse four-cylinder engine with air cooling and displacement of 1140cc. This engine is mated to a six-speed wet clutch transmission, netting around 90 horsepower and 67 pound-feet of torque. Despite its simple stripped-down look, this model does not shy away from modern tech and components, as it comes equipped with front and rear LED lights, Showa forks and shocks, and triple disc brakes. 
Suzuki SV650 Scrambler Suzuki is among the latest motorbike manufacturers to join the effort of bringing scrambler-styled motorcycles to the market, and frankly they are not trying to rush the production, since for now this project is limited to France only. The situation of Suzuki bikes should be called a mild scrambler kit, since all of the modifications are focused on the bolt-on add-ons, which add to the stock SV650, wide LSL handlebars, more sizable foot bags, a short front mount guard, a headlight protector, radiator guards, a fly shield, a chain guard, and a vintage-looking leather seat. Moreover, Suzuki also threw in a set of Dunlop Mutant tires. Besides these modifications, the bike is still powered by the liquid-cooled 645cc V-twin with 76 horses in the stables. It has ABS system from Nissan, full LCD instrument panel, an LED trail and stoplights. What do you think about the presented motorcycles? Do they qualify as scramblers in your opinion? Or are they just standard bikes with the word scrambler added by the manufacturers to boost sales? Share your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to watch a couple of more episodes of Automotive Territory and subscribe. As always, may the torque be with you!